Hey guys, how are you going? It's Lucas D here. So um, I'm just going to show you guys a, a hardcore or a uh, build you can try in the Tempest League. Uh, my build I'm working on is a Cyclone high block build. It uses physical damage uh, when I'm attacking with my Cyclone ability and it uses also Resolute Technique which is in the passive skill tree here. Now when I was doing this build I was going for mainly all the blocking nodes so the blocking nodes still work pretty good in um, the patch 2.0 with the blocking nodes you also get physical damage um, which is over here and you also get physical damage down here which is on the blocking nodes so there's more blocking nodes over here too which have physical damage on them and the other beauty about this build is when you um, get all the blocking nodes it will also give you defense nodes so if we go back to the skill tree again uh, one more time uh, see if I have a look at this here you've got 60% increased defenses from your equipped shield 20% oh sorry not 20% over here you've got another 60% increased defense from equipped shield so not just block chance you also get increased defenses from your equipped shield as well and what that does is when you get all your blocking nodes, all your shield nodes, at the, uh, at the end you'll, you'll end up getting at least uh, 400 to 450 percent increased defense from your shield. So if you get a shield like say Lion Eyes Remorse which is very cheap in the Tempest League at the moment which is the hardcore league, um, you can get that shield and if I take the shield off my defense is only 2000 armor but when I put the shield on I've now got 8458 armor in effect this allows me to have other gear I could also use the Tabla Russia if I was um, just starting like if I, I want to do six link and if say I took this armor off it, it it's only about a thousand you know it's only about a thousand armor I lose so I only lose about three percent damage um, three percent damage reduction from from armor so that's something to consider in this build which is a, a good thing about this build when doing the physical cyclone build also uh, the links you want to get is probably the best links I've found would be cyclone with faster attacks blood magic uh, fortify fortify is very important in hardcore because you always you need to take um, at least at least I think I think it's um, fortify would give you a bit about 20% damage reduction which is always good and you want blood magic as well in this build blood magic is good so you can always constantly cast cyclone and you have plenty of life regen here 236 lives regenerated per second which is very good and concentrated effect if you're on bosses you can also use increased area effect as well if you're if you want to take out a lot of mobs uh, with uh, the cast and damage taken set up you want on here cast and damage taken with immortal core um, I've put it with summon flame golem at the moment and also blood rage blood rage blood rage you can have it active at all times you'll still regenerate health because you've got so much armor with this build and this is awesome this blood rage I think uh, it gives you faster attacks it also gives you uh, physical um, life leech it gives you um, frenzy charges when you kill enemies so very 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 good uh, in this build uh, down here as well you've got um, repost now you're blocking a lot because our block chance is 60 percent we also have spell block chance at 30 percent uh, because we use the stone of Lazara which is uh, the amulet and you want repost linked with molten shell and tempest shield so you can keep those defense um, buffs up so you have your molten shell and tempest shield most of the time up when you have it cast on melee kill so when you repost um, kills an enemy these two will be up at all times which is pretty good now I'll just go into an instance and I'll just show you so I've just done um, Derosa I'll do it again we'll start it again and I'll just show you the effects uh, this build has now currently we've got um, concentrated effect on so we are going to be doing more single target DPS um, at the moment what we want to do is um, oh, I've got to put my cyclone on because I took that out I think so as you can see the DPS is pretty good but what we'll do is we'll see if we can get to Jorosso really quickly and just do that boss fight 
and um, show you guys how effective it is against bosses in the level 69 zone um, how effective this build is in hardcore so you don't have to get worried you know when you're building up your character you know worried that you're gonna die or anything like that so and you've got to still be careful of those things as well so um, but the good thing about this build is it's very tanky and um, you won't have to run away all the time or stress because it's it's not an evasion build it's a higher it's a good armor build and it just relies on your shield defense which you can get for a pretty good price at the moment um, the lion eyes uh, remorse shield I bought that for four chaos and it's pretty good price now what we'll do is stop running away <laughs> this guy constantly running away from me as you can see they went down pretty quick sometimes you get them in tough areas so if they're in tough areas just use um, wild strike um, I don't think I showed you the links for wild strike but wild strike we have uh, that linked with multi strike faster attacks and blood magic so that gives us effective 15,000 DPS on there for wild strike but most of the time we will be using our cyclone ability um, and that's what I think would be best with this build anyways we'll just go straight to Durosa and we'll just see how we go in this fight and how effective it is so um, anybody having a tough time with Durosa will, this build you shouldn't have a problem at all doing him if you just get a decent shield or oh, Lion Eyes Remorse I recommend as it's got 30% chance to block and it's pretty cheap and as you can see those blades do a lot of damage um, but this this is a pretty effective build and you just stay on him I'll come up here and you'll just charge up here now so with this build very easy to maintain your hit points don't have to stress out and keep hitting those flasks and be like oh no my, d my health's going down so quickly or anything like that it's it's manageable so You're no sovereign. okay so we'll just finish him off hopefully we can finish him off now there we go so he's down and um, that's basically uh, the effectiveness of this build uh, so guys if you want to try out this build um, I'll try and I'll post up the passive skill tree in the comments but this is a great build for a hardcore league um, if, if you guys want to try it out if you wanted a build which is tanky and can get you through um, to the later stages of late game like end game with Path of Exile in a hardcore league So I'm Lucas D. I hope this video helped you guys out if you did like the video just uh, leave a like um, Or subscribe and I'll bring out more videos and uh, Yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Bye